Hey Patreon family, today I'm going to be walking you through how I do some of my um, memorization, which clearly I'm not always the best at. Uh, yes, uh, so I am currently uh, in the works of re-memorizing re a lot of my music uh, in hopes that I can actually perform some of my music um, uh, later this summer or if not this fall. Uh, so just having it in, in my store, in, in my memory here, and just uh, being able to recall it at any given time is going to be pretty helpful as we move forward, especially since we have no idea how much time I'll have before uh, or after our, our blessed baby comes out. So um, yeah, so I'm going to walk you through uh, kind of some of the stuff that I do. So uh, the, the song that I'm going to work on today um, is just uh, called The Returning. Uh, and so uh, in this one here, just like any music thing, there's lots of repetition uh, in certain patterns, uh, but there's also tiny little variances. So you have to find ways how to <laughs> memorize not just the pattern, but also the variances uh, between them. So uh, in which order they come in, right? So uh, on trombone, that can be a little bit uh, different. Um, a lot of times in, in uh, the standard orchestral world, when an instrumentalist uh, ends up playing a concerto or something really difficult, whatever, and they're the soloist, you, you'll often always see them have their music on, on the stand as well. Uh, and that's not because they're not intelligent. Like a pianist over there, um, you know, um, a lot of times it just has to do with the page turning and everything like that, and it's just more simple and less distracting uh, from the performance to just memorize it. Now, as an instrumentalist, uh, you, you're turning a page every once in a while because you can fit so many, um, so many notes on a, on a given page because we're only reading one line at a time compared to piano, which is reading... <laughs> two lines at the same time plus up to ten fingers or even more notes than that if, if we get into clusters so uh, the music uh, can be really hard to fit on the same page and if you do then it can be really hard to read right so uh, so we're trying to memorize some of the music so as an instrumentalist uh, some of the main things you got to think about is like how, how long are your rests right uh, when do you come in what note do you come in on and then also like what is what is the note phrase so there's a lot of ways to, to memorize this uh, one of the best ways that I, I know how if it's a really hard thing to memorize uh, is to break it down uh, into into like letters uh, and so you can break an entire work down into like section a and so a is this and then B is, is, is this next phrase here, and C, et cetera, and you can break it down as much as you need to, uh, and then you can literally pull out flashcards and be like, okay, A, I'm supposed to play da 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 da, right? And then, uh, you know, oh, on, on L there, I need to be going ba ba da 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 da, da right? And just being able to, to fire them off can be really, really helpful. Uh, so I didn't really need that on, on the returning here, and maybe some of it just has to do with, um, you know, I wrote the music, so I, I like have a better understanding of it uh, than somebody who might just be learning somebody else's work. Uh, but there's still plenty of things to, to memorize in this one. So uh, the first things I, I want to really think about is like, what are my first two notes that I'm playing from, which happens to be A to E. <laughs> And then uh, what am I doing from that note? And I'm going ba da 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 da. So I go A E D C sharp D C sharp A. And then right. And so I have this opening phrase. It's no big deal. I actually repeat it later. Every single time that I play it, it's just a little bit different. So the second time I play it, um, I'll play this this first. I'll play it all the way through here. stuff in there and that's a different section within itself there's a little bit of rest and then I come back in a second time on the second time I repeat this exact same phrase uh, but the rhythms are a little bit different uh, so the first one if I had to explain it, it's like really really um, rigid like uh, you're, you're almost like in a, in a march setting not not completely but that's the idea right uh, and then in the second one here uh, it just kind of opens up a little bit more uh, the, the the rhythms are a little bit um, more wonky or maybe even jazzy, but not, not too much. So listen to how the second one goes. Uh. 
phrase ends, right? The first one, um, I'm working my way down to a C and it just kind of squirrels around a little bit. This other one here, I go bum, bum, and then it's really rigid after all of this nice fluidness. It goes bum, 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 bum. set up what I'm going to do in those next two sections because the next two sections um, are, are really really uh, technical in <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're just very technical so uh, back to the first phrase uh, I'm going <coughs> see I have to I have to work on this sometimes so I'm going straight to an A and I have to remember that because uh, there's a couple other spots either in this piece or or in some of the other ones uh, I have to work there and make sure that uh, the pattern is, is correct because uh, you know there's a lot of similarities not only just from this piece uh, in, into the rest of the piece but even sometimes uh, in, into other pieces as well so I have to be really careful that I don't accidentally slip into a different song completely. It happens. <laughs> Usually in the practice room. <laughs> All right, so uh, this next section here, I have to remember that this is my long-winded one. That's more or less what I tell myself because there's a lot of notes that come in this one. Lots of that with. Uh, so now this this uh, whole thing comes back later on the third phrase uh, where I kind of repeat at least this this section as well. Um, but it's it's much shorter. Uh, it's not as as um, verbose as as that next section. So when I get there. of those moving notes uh, and so that's just a, kind of a, an artistic choice that I made between them just uh, I anytime I play something especially as I'm writing it I do want to do it a little bit differently and so that was just one way uh, that I could change everything up was was the rhythms here so uh, that's how those sections go <clears throat> and then there is this last section here at the very end maybe you'll call it a stinger I don't know what you, whatever you want to call it I again repeat this this opening phrase that, that we saw at the beginning, but I'm going to start on an E. Bum, ba, da, and then the rhythm is almost completely different, but it still is is still also familiar. I, I, I love how it can be very very different, but also very familiar, and it has to do with just using the same notes in the same order for the most part. So, take a listen to how this last phrase goes. <laughs> stuff works and, and when it comes and how it comes and then I have to think about like uh, what what are the tricks to help me remember exactly how to do that is it really long is it technical is it fast is it slow I mean just finding all sorts of words or, or ways to go about that uh, and that's just kind of how I start memorizing my music and um, the last thing that I really do to just test how well I know my music is I'll actually try, especially on trombone here, because you know, you're always doing this on piano, um, I try and do it without the accompaniment at all. I just play through the, the entire piece 
without the accompaniment just to make sure that, hey, I know every single entrance. I don't need a musical cue to remember like what, what I do later because that, that can end up uh, costing you time that will help you remember further down the road. I want my brain uh, to be always a few steps ahead of wherever I am in the piece and I want to know for certain where I'm at. Uh, so that's, that's just some of the stuff that I go through this one, especially on trombone. Uh, piano is a little bit different and I might make another video some other time for you, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment in below in, in, the, in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.